you're, you're looking at my ledger live here and I get a lot of questions and people say, can I manage more than one device within my ledger live? And the answer is yes. You'll notice that I've named my uh, accounts accordingly. So I know which device they're associated with. So I have an account here that's uh, associated with the flex, uh, a couple of other down here that are associated with the flex. I've got a Bitcoin uh, flex account and a Bitcoin stacks account. So it just depends which device is connected when you set up the account. So uh, let's see. I've got this, uh, uh, this, let's go over here. <laughs> um, I've got this other Ledger Nano X, and this is, uh, it's a completely different device. Um, it, it is storing some crypto that I set aside for my son. And uh, let's manage this device in Ledger Live, right? So it's the device is already set up. So I think that's the part that's confusing to people. They're like, wait a minute, how do I set up a brand new device in Ledger Live? What do I do? Well, really, there's not much to do. All you have to do is connect it and enter the pin, right? So I'll go ahead and enter my pin. Let me get this thing. I love this little Ledger Nano X2, this Bitcoin orange with the Bitcoin logo. I think it's really cool. Um, but uh, let me go ahead and enter the pin here. All right. And so uh, we have the device connected and the pin is entered. So all we have to do is go over here to Ledger Live and say add account. That's it. The device is set up and is connected. Right. Uh, and I'll let's go for Bitcoin. Right. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have done this like when you first set up your device um, and it was empty, but you can do it with an existing device that's that's already been set up, right? It wants me to open the Bitcoin app on the device. There we go. Click both buttons for that. Trying to keep it in focus. Let's go back over to Ledger Live. All right, so it's scanning the device, and lo and behold, it detects that there is an existing wallet on the device. It, so it offers me the option of adding that to my account, right? I'm in the Add Accounts interface, right? Um, it also gives me the option of creating an empty one if I want, uh, but I don't. And so I'm going to name this one Alex so I don't get it confused with my other devices. Uh, or we could just call this one... Um, Nano X, all right? So we know what it's all about. Um, or we could call it Orange Nano X, right? Whatever. Um, I don't know what's your limit on these uh, as far as how many characters you can use. So we hit Add Account, and boom, it's in there, right? <laughs> Interestingly enough, this is the, the account that has the, the highest dollar value, so it bubbles to the top. Right. So and uh, so this is cool. So you might have family members that uh, have devices and they don't know what they're doing or you've gifted them devices and you've given them some crypto, but they really don't know what to do. You can manage their devices in one your copy of Ledger Live if you want to. Uh, pretty easy. Let's go and just let's add one more. Uh, I think he has Solana in here too. So I'll add some Solana. Um, and then over here, uh, wants me to open the Solana app. So I'll do that. All right. All right. It's going to scan the device and it's going to request that the, the device export the public information, right? This is a, a cryptographically formatted message. And the device will respond with, oh, okay, you want the, the public information? Okay. Well, um, how do we know that, you know, some crazy person didn't get this information? Well, uh, that crazy person would need to know the pin of the device. That, and that's a big deal. A lot of people worry about their device 
um, and they go, oh my God, I lost my device. Some, somebody's going to get a hold of it and steal all my crypto. Well, the device is designed to fail after the third attempt. So it's pretty unlikely that someone is just going to find your device in the gutter and, and guess your pin in less than three tries, you know. It's almost astronomical when you think about it. All right, so we've added two accounts that uh, are being managed on a another device, right? So now I'm managing three different devices within this copy of Ledger Live. Uh, that uh, This one, right? The one we just added two accounts for, uh, the Ledger Stacks and my Ledger Flex, right? The only drawback to this little scheme is the portfolio. The portfolio cannot separate accounts. Um, so if you're managing uh, you know, your sisters or your wife's or your kids' devices in your copy of Ledger Live, you're going to see a, a, a lump sum of all of the accounts, right? There's no way to separate it. There are other trickier ways to actually kind of have different copies of Ledger Live, but that involves folder swapping down in the Windows um, system folders, and that's a little bit tricky. It would be so cool if Ledger had profiles, like, you know, your Amazon Prime account or your Netflix account, where each person had their own account and their own, you know, playlist and their own recently watched and, you know, their own crypto accounts with separate balances, you know, that would be so cool, but they don't. So you can manage multiple devices in one copy of Ledger Live, but you cannot separate out the dollar values. So that's the only drawback. 